Hello and welcome to a rather rainy and a little wet uh, Port Coburn right now. Uh, down by uh, the Welland Canal, uh, the exit here at Port Coburn, or I should say the entrance, depending on which way the ships are going. And as of right now, we have the, uh, the St. Mary's 2 uh, cement ship making its way into the Welland Canal, uh, downbound, uh, heading towards Lake Ontario. She's just literally left her mooring right here on uh, Port Coburn. And we'll have a quick look at her as she makes her way out. Coming plan, go the other side. She's a very unusual vessel. Um, I'll tell you a bit more about it as we watch her make her way up the canal here. The St. Mary Cement 2 is a barge that was built in 1978 by West Gulf Marine in Galveston, Texas. It's currently sailing under the flag of Canada. The vessel was uh, formerly known as Canmar Shuttle and Valesco. It's associated with St. Mary's Cement, which is the major producer of cementious materials in the Great Lakes region. The St. Mary Cement 2 has a capacity of 17,000 metric tons and an offload speed of 500 tons per hour. All right, at the back of the barge, you can see a tug. Uh, that particular tug is the Sea Eagle 2. It was built back in 1979 by a modern marine power of Huma, uh, Louisiana, uh, as the articulated tugboat Sea Eagle uh, for seacoast towing. In 1981, she was sold to the Canadian Marine Drilling of Calgary and renamed Canmar Sea Eagle. And then in uh, 1991, Cement, St. Mary Cement Inc. of Toronto acquired the tug and renamed her Sea Eagle 2. It's just an extraordinary vessel. Every time I see it coming through the locks, it just blows my mind. It's like it's like a tug pushing it, basically. It's like one of those sea doos where you actually drive your sea doo into the boat and it pushes along. <laughs> All right, the St. Mary's uh, Cement 2. Oh, St. Mary's 2 cement ship is uh, just coming into the lock here, lock 8. <laughs> Oops, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Now the only problem from this side, I can't get a good shot. Maybe I'll try it from this side. So I can look beyond the barrier that way without going over the barrier to get a nice uh, video of this. When you think about it, that is a hell of a lot of weight on there being lifted right up. I just love the engineering of these things. The lock doors are now open, the lock gates. And it'll just take a bit of time for it to come through. I don't know if my batch will last long enough, but we'll give it a go. Sadly, I can't get the drone up again because it's still windy.
Right there we have it, another vessel entering the Welland Canal, uh, making its way towards Lake Ontario. Please make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. Lake Erie Vlogger signing out.